Hi everyone, welcome back to The Daily Grind. In this episode, I wanna to talk to you today about shelf bras because shelf bras are very easy to add to garments even if the pattern did not include one. So what is a shelf bra? A shelf bra is an internal support structure like this right here. The shelf bra itself at the side seams, it does not attach to the garment itself, but it does have to attach to the garment somewhere like at the neckline, the armholes, and sometimes at the shoulder seams if your garment has the shoulder seams. Eventually it will be attached here if you have something like special straps or something like that. What is the shelf bra made out of? I like to use the same fabric as the garment, usually, but you can use other fabrics. For example, right here, this is a swimsuit. I use my swim lining to create a shelf bra. Now the shelf bra on a swimsuit is a little bit different because you don't have a back to your shelf bra, but your swimsuit should be very snug against your body because it has negative ease. So there shouldn't be any problem just having the front bra give you that support. If you look at some ready to wear garments, this ready to wear garment right here, this is a very, very old tank top that I pulled out of my drawer. You can see again, this is using the same fabric for the shelf bra and I have many other ready to wear garments like that, some old tank tops that have the same fabric on the shelf bra as it does the main garment. I think that's pretty common. All right, so other than the fabric that you're going to be using, you're going to have to be using elastic. So the larger you are, in my opinion, you should use wider elastic. So on my shelf bra for this dress right here, I used three quarters inch elastic on the underside of that shelf bra. On my, on my one piece swimsuit over here, I did use one inch elastic. So between three quarters and one inch is my preference for elastic. If I look at a ready to wear garment, like this ready to wear garment right here, this also used three quarter inch elastic. What kind of elastic do you use? Well, I can tell you that this is more like, this is a very soft elastic, almost like a plush elastic. On this old ready to wear garment, this feels like a very plush elastic too. So you might wanna to go to some bra making supply place and I'll put the links in the description below to get some three quarters to one inch elastic. Now this is for garments, not for swim, because if you're making a swimsuit, you wanna make sure that you're using swim elastic as opposed to regular elastic. So you can use plush lingerie elastic. Another type of elastic I like to use on my garments is Pamela's Fantastic Elastic. I'm not affiliated with Pamela in any way, but right here, this is her one and a half inch Fantastic Elastic. And what's so special about this is you can cut different widths in this elastic. Many elastics you cannot cut or make them narrow because you will ruin the integrity of the elastic. But this elastic, some stretchy knit elastics will allow you to cut it to different widths to suit your purpose. So I do love Fantastic Elastic. This is one that I probably wouldn't wear. This does not have as much stress. You've probably seen this in the store and I think this is Dritz one inch elastic. This is good for some things, maybe like um, the waist of pajama pants, but I would not like this against like right under my bra line because I think that's just a little too rough and stiff. So be aware that the larger you are, you're going to want to go with a wider elastic. So three quarters, one inch. If, you, if you're very large, you might want to go even larger than that. If you're small busted, then you can easily get away with half inch or even three eighths of an inch. So that covers what fabric to use and what elastic to use. Now in your shelf bra, can you use cups? Absolutely. But if you are part of the small chested club, you probably can get away without having any cups or you might just want to use a small U-shaped cup and just to prevent nipple see-through. Okay, so that would be fine too, but you don't really need a whole lot of support. But if you would like to, you can use different swim cups. For example, this is the triangle cup. I talked about all these different types of bra cups and swim cups in a previous episode of the Daily Grind. I'll put that episode right here so you know which one. But you can, after you construct your shelf bra, you can put this in 
just slide these cups in and move them to where you think they should be placed. And then once you have it on, put it on both sides, then you can pin it into place from the outside, take it over to your sewing machine, turn it around, flip it to the inside, and you can do a zigzag stitch all around your cup to keep them in place. Some people put free floating cups in. I do not like free floating cups. I like to actually stitch them in, in place so they're not moving around. You can also use a more traditional cup. Now this is one I also showed you. This has some nice padding in there. But again, you can slide these cups in your shelf bra. And this works really nice if you're large or busted. You can put these in exactly where you want them. One thing I didn't talk about yet was how wide should your elastic be? What I like to do when I am beginning to fit a shelf bra and I am measuring the underbust. So you're going to measure a nice, you know, a nice snug measurement with a tape measure. And let's say hypothetically I'm getting a 31 inch underbust. So what I'll do is subtract out three inches to make that underbust measurement for the elastic smaller. And then I will also subtract another inch because when you zigzag this elastic onto the shelf bra, you will have a little bit more like it will stretch out the elastic a little bit so making it an inch smaller is not a bad idea when you cut your elastic to your specified length you're going to take the edges and butt them together and then you're going to use your zigzag stitch a very short stitch length to really secure those butted edges together you're going to quarter your garment and then match them up and i like to put the elastic on the underside and I zigzag it right to the bottom. Then I try it on, move around. Does it feel snug enough? If the elastic does not feel snug, pinch out about what you think would be comfortable to you. And then use your seam ripper, and then you're going to just use your seam ripper to take off that elastic. Now when I'm using that basting zigzag stitch to get that initial fit, I use a very long stitch length, so it's very easy to seam rip that zigzag stitch. Take it off, cut out, like let's say you wanted to remove two inches, cut off two inches, butt those edges together, zigzag it again, quarter it, quarter your garment, and stitch it again. You might be in a situation where your garment possibly has a lot of volume here. So what do you do in that case? What do you do if you have a lot of volume in your garment? and you cut the shelf bra from that garment, and then you're trying to fit it to a very small circular piece of elastic. Well, you might get some gathering in here all the way around. Now, I generally do not like gathering all the way around, so you might want to gather just under the bust. I'll show you how it looks in ready to wear. So in this ready to wear garment right here, you can see how they handled the front. On this front, they have a little bit of gathering right here and right over here. So it is okay to gather the section right under the bust to make that garment smaller. And that is okay. And then you're just gonna do your quartering with that. No one's gonna see that gathering because your bust curves in. So that's gonna be perfectly fine. So just be aware of certain things you can do. And on this one right here, this is what I call the creme de la creme of tank tops because this tank top has a shelf bra in it. Again, same fabric. You're using a wide elastic. This is three quarter inch elastic, but look how the front was handled. They actually put in bra cups. I love when I find tank tops like this and it is not very often. So right here, I could actually wear this one without a bra and then they even included bra strap style straps so you could snug it up to kind of lift it up a little bit. So this is one tank top that eventually I'm going to recreate because I love the internal support structure. This would look perfect as a maxi dress. I just love it, but I just wanna show you these different styles of shelf bras. Never overthink the process. And I just wanted to give you a heads up of what's involved. You're using the same pattern, very easy to do. You don't have to use cups at the get-go. If you don't want to, you can always add them in later after the fact as well. They don't need to be added in right away. So I hope this little pep talk gave you the confidence to think about shelf bras 
And in the next couple weeks, I'm going to pull out my pink fabric to make a pink tank top, and I am going to be putting a shelf bra in that garment. Again, I like to wear strapless bras with my shelf bra, so I will probably not put cups in there, but that's just my preference. You do you to get a great fitting shelf bra for your garments. All right, you guys, hope this helped, and I'll see you in the next Daily Grind.